Bibb County promised its employees Fitbits to help keep them fit, but five months later, well, they still haven't arrived. This had us wondering what you think. Do you think Fitbits will help county workers improve their health? Think yes, because it helped you? No, you think they're pretty much useless, or you're thinking maybe we have more pressing money needs. Let us know what you think on 13WMAZ.com slash vote, or open up your 13WMAZ app and vote. Abby Kosoris explains the Fitbit holdup. Exercise helped county employee Nan Tharp lose 130 pounds, but she's always looking for more ways to stay active. As soon as I found out about the first one on there to sign up. A county wellness incentive program that would buy new Fitbits for 650 county employees. Tharp works in the county's procurement office and says she passed the proposal along to the county attorney's office. Now she's wondering when the program can get started. We're just waiting for the legal documents, the contract to come back, and then, then it's a good go. I mean, that's about it. The Fitbits were supposed to be purchased by $88,000 from Blue Cross Blue Shield. County commissioners voted in April to accept the money and go ahead with the plan. There's a small group of employees that are, are accounting for the huge increase in our health care costs. Commissioner Elaine Lucas serves on the health care committee and voted for the program. But Colin Manning of Blue Cross Blue Shield says the county never notified them that they approved the program and wanted to accept the funds. So they're still holding the money for BIP. And if we can implement a great wellness program with our employees, they will see the benefits. I have my personal one, but I left it. But it'd be nice to have this. Mine's not nicest one that they're going to do. Um, it's going to be nice to be able to say, hey, Megan Bibb gave me this and this is why they gave it to me. And until the county attorney's office finishes up the paperwork, Tharp won't have a way to track her exercise throughout the day. In Macon, Abby Casores, 13 WMAZ News. Now, county spokesman Chris Thor says the Fitbit proposal is still stuck in the county attorney's office. He could not explain the holdup. He also could not say why the county never notified Blue Cross Blue Shield. They intended to accept the money in our poll. A lot of you think there are other pressing money issues.